One of the most controversial issues today, should gay and lesbian couples be allowed to get married? Right now, 17 states allow same-sex couples to wed. Idaho is not one of them. On your side, wanted to find out if that band is costing the gem state. Chris Oswald is live at the State House with that story. Donna and Michelle, under Idaho Constitution, same-sex marriage is banned. But thousands of same-sex couples are trying to save that, change that. And as I found out, it could bring in millions of dollars in revenue. Here, baby. Surrounded by family and friends, Kim Hamilton and her partner, Crystal Casilla, celebrate their daughter's first birthday. I mean, we're already committed to each other, but having that legal document just kind of sets it in stone. And I think that anybody being able to get legally married, it just makes them stronger. The Boise couple has been together for seven years. They have two kids and with unwavering love, dream of the day they can finally say, I do. Even though there are people in the world who don't agree with our lifestyle, that, that doesn't make it wrong. Under Idaho law, same-sex couples cannot get married. Last week, Kim and Crystal tested the law. They marched with dozens of others from City Hall to the Ada County Courthouse and asked for a marriage license. Their request was denied. I have to advise you that Idaho law does not allow for same-sex marriage in this state. Um, thus, I'm not allowed to do that. The rights that come with a recognized marriage won't just benefit Kim and Crystal. Legalized same-sex marriages could give the gym state a financial boost. Weddings are a $70 billion a year industry, and many states allowing same-sex marriages are already seeing the cash flow in. Take Washington State, for example. It's one of 17 allowing same-sex marriages. A study by the Williams Institute at the University of California before same-sex marriage was legal there found marriages would bring in $88 million in revenue over three years. Using the same formula as the Williams Institute, I plugged in numbers for Idaho. The U.S. Census Bureau found more than 3,000 couples identify as same sex in the gym state in 2010. It is estimated if each couple were to wed, they would spend more than $20 million on weddings. If each couple paid Idaho sales tax of 6% on their wedding, the state could see over $1.2 million in revenue. And that's not including spending from out-of-state guests or wedding planning. Washington State isn't the only place to see a boost in money from same-sex marriages. A 2009 report from Maine found same-sex marriages there would increase the state revenue nearly $8 million a year. And in New York, LGBT weddings generated $16 million bucks in city revenue in the first year same-sex marriages were recognized. You know, the state of Idaho is actually um, a, an incredibly unwelcoming place. Monica Hopkins is executive director of the ACLU of Idaho. She has fought the battle for the right of same-sex couples to wed. Hopkins says no matter how much same-sex weddings would generate, the right to marry is a civil right. Same-sex couples going into a cake shop should have the same protections that an interracial couple going into that cake shop would have. And for Kim and Crystal, it's a matter of love. It, it would mean the world. It would just make us happy to be recognized by our state as a legally married couple. It's something so simple to other people that automatically have the right and it just it means a lot. It means a lot more I think than just a piece of paper. Now on the federal level if all 50 U.S. states were to allow same-sex marriage a 2004 Congressional Budget Office report found that the federal government could see an extra one billion dollars in revenue each year. Reporting live from the state capitol, Chris Oswald, today six on your side.